in this video, I'd like to show how to find that critical values or that scores for confidence intervals. You need a cumulative Z table. Also, you need to know what confidence intervals and critical values are before starting. Before looking at the actual examples, you need to know the basic knowledge about the standard normal distribution. It has a mean of 0 and a standard deviation of 1. This Z table gives the area or probability to the left of Z scores. The first column shows the first two digits of Z scores and the top row shows the second decimal place of Z scores. There are three steps to find the Z critical values. First, find the two tailed areas. Since the whole area is 1, subtract the confidence level from 1 to find the two tailed areas. Because we use the left cumulative Z table, we find the left tailed area by taking half of the two tailed areas. We look up the Z table using the left tailed area to find the negative Z score, then make it positive to have another critical value. Let's take a look at the first example. Find the Z critical values for 90% confidence level. We share the center area with the given confidence level 90% or 0 0.90. Step 1, 1 minus confidence level 0 0.90 to get 0 0.10 at two tailed areas. Step 2, dividing the two tailed areas by 2 to get one tailed area. Step 3, let's look up the table using the left tailed area 0.05. We need to locate the left cumulative area of 0.05 or close to 0.05 from the inside of the table. We found two values close to 0.05. Comparing the differences, we cannot use the either one since the differences are the same. So we take the halfway between those two values. Go straight to the left to read the first two digits of the Z score and go up in halfway between the two values to read the second and third decimal places. So the Z score should be negative 1.645. So the Z score that correspond to the left cumulative area 0.05 is negative 1.645. Since we found the left critical value, we just change the sign to get the positive critical value. Therefore, critical values for 90% confidence level are plus or minus 1.645. Let's take a look at the next example. We share the center area with a given confidence level 95% or 0.95. Step 1, 1 minus confidence level 0.95 to get 0.05 at two tailed areas. Step 2, dividing the two tailed areas by 2 to get the one tailed area. Step 3, let's look up the table using the left tailed area 0.025. We need to locate the left cumulative area 0.025 or close to 0.025 from the inside of the table. We found the exact 0.025 area. Go straight to the left to read the first two digits of the Z score and go straight up to read the second decimal place of the Z score. So the Z score should be minus 1.96. So the death score that corresponds to the left cumulative area 0.025 is negative 1.96. Since we found the left death critical value, we just change the sign to get the positive critical value. Therefore, death critical values for 95% confidence level 
or plus or minus 1.96. Let's take a look at the next example. We share the center area with a given confidence level 98% or 0.98. Step 1, 1 minus confidence level 0.98 to get 0.02 as two tailed areas. Step 2, dividing the two tailed areas by 2 to get one tailed area. Step 3, let's look up the table using the left tailed area 0.01. We need to locate the left cumulative area 0.01 or close to 0.01 from the inside of the table. We found two values close to 0.01, one is smaller and the other one is larger. Comparing the differences, we use 0.0099. Go straight to the left to read the first two digits of the z-score and go straight up to read the second decimal place of the z-score. So the z-score should be negative 2.33. So the z-score that corresponds to the left cumulative area 0.01 is negative 2.33. Since we found the left that critical value, we just change the sign to get the positive critical value. Therefore, Z critical values for 98% confidence level are plus or minus 2.33. Let's take a look at the last example. We shade the center area with a given confidence level 99% or 0.99. Step 1, 1 minus confidence level 0.99 to get 0.01 as two tailed areas. Step 2, dividing the two tailed areas by 2 to get one tailed area. Step 3, let's look up the table using the left tailed area 0.005. We need to locate the left cumulative area 0.005 or close to 0.005 from the inside of the table. We found two area values close to 0.005. Comparing the differences, we cannot use the either one since the differences are the same. So we take the halfway between those values. Go straight to the left to read the first two digits of the death score and go up halfway between the two values to read the second and third decimal places of the death score. So the death score should be negative 2.575. So the death score that corresponds to the left cumulative area 0.005 is negative 2.575. Since we found the left death critical value, we just change the sign to get the positive critical value. So the critical values for 99% confidence level are plus or minus 2.575. Since we use the left cumulative area Z table, we need to find the left tailed area to find the negative Z critical value. First, subtract the given confidence level from 1 and then divide it by 2 to get the left area look up the table using the left area to find one of the critical value. Once we get the negative critical value, then we make it positive to have another one. Thank you for watching and see you next time.